The Abuja Light Rail project was commissioned by President Mohamed Dubari, but shortly after that, operations in these rail stations shut down due to COVID restrictions. But with the assumption of a new minister, he has promised that operations will begin this year, 2024. But how realistic is this pledge? The Abuja Light Rail project, divided into six phases, was awarded to the China Civil Engineering Construction Corps at the cost of about $823 million. The 290-kilometer rail project, which is supposed to be the first in West Africa, is designed to link 13 communities with 12 stations at the Abuja Metro, National Stadium, Kukwa Bawan and 2, Wupa, Idu, Basanjiwa, the Inamdi Azikwe International Airport, Guagua, Dede, Kangini, and Bazango. After the commissioning of the rail project in July 2018 by President Muhammad Buhari, the first phase, which links the airport, Iju, and Abuja Metropolis, with a total length of 45.2 km and a 300 passenger train capacity, was opened for operations. Sadly, in January 2020, Operations were shut down owing to the outbreak of COVID-19 and has remained inactive. Phase 2 connects from Guaga through the metro station to Yaya and Karu. Phase 3, which is also known as Blue Line, is expected to pass through Idu to Kuwa with stations in Idu, Guagua, Dede, Kangini and Bazango. Phase 4 is from Kujé to Karshi. Phase 5 is expected to be from Kuba via Buari to Suleja and Phase 6 from the airport via Kujie and Guagolada to Dobi. Presenting great potentials such as reducing gridlock, cheaper means of transportation and improved travel experience, the revival of this product is considered a necessity following the removal of fuel subsidy and the high cost of living in Nigeria. We believe that by the time uh, a city management is pro uh, provides for mass transit, like the light rail transportation facility, definitely a lot of things will come to pass, and it will be a very big plus for FCT. Upon assuming office in August 2023, the FCT minister, Mr. Yesomwike, during an inspection tour of the project, reeled out some of the challenges confronting the project. All the stations. For what I've seen, designs are very poor. Who may have approved this design is not fair to Nigerians. But be it as it may, we we'll still have to work around the clock to see that we achieve our results. There was an initial 60% funding agreement between the FCTA and Exim Bank of China. The FCT minister highlights the effort of the present administration to resuscitate the project in a recent media chat. There was an agreement approved by the Federal Council for the CCECC to train the operators for two and a half years at the sum of 128 million U.S. dollars. So I called them, I said, hey, are you sabotaging this project or what? How do I go, how do you tell Nigerians? that we are going to pay $128 million to train our people. What kind of training is that? As of today, in fact, I'm trying to make a note to, to the Federal Council. We have come from $128 million now to $75 million. Hopefully, the train stations, which are now a shadow of themselves, will resume operations at the projected May 2024 completion date in order to give a breather to the high cost of living in the country and avail commuters a cheaper means of transportation. From the nation's capital, Kumbi Abolowade, Channels Television News.